welcome back to Nose Tools, where, well, as, oh, right, yes, I've left myself a reminder for what I was doing, haven't I, which was building a third guild hall, so that's good. Um, and we have the mechanism by which our archers can shoot things, um, preferably without terrifying everyone, and we're turning... Uh, let's cancel that job, we don't want to... Bones are now only to be used for conversion into crossbow, crossbow bolts. Um, because it takes an awful lot of crossbow bolts to kill all of these um, things. So actually I should just make a... To kill all of those uh, undead. Indeed, they'll probably never be killed by the crossbow bolts, it looks like. Bolt. Make bone bolts. Forever. At least until you run out of bolts. Uh, so yes, we have that guild hall to dig, and we were working on soap as well, weren't we? And the I'd made a bar of soap, which was a great triumph, and then someone stuffed it, gone and taken it away, and put it in the um, in the hospital, which is all very well and probably a good plan, but might mean we need more soap. So. Since I think at the moment the surface is actually safe. Yeah. Um, let's do things with the uh, wood. And make some more ash, which we can use to turn into some more lye. And then, all being well, we will also have some spare tallow. Yeah, we don't have any spare horn at the moment, but that's fine. And the bedroom situation uh, continues terrible. I've converted it, all of those places into designated bedrooms and they have apparently all been rapidly seized by people who are even, you know, oh no, that one isn't officially a bedroom yet. Um, well, I bet they won't last long, mind. Even sharing their rooms in order to reduce the uh, number. We could have spatterings of blood hovering in mid-air. That's probably not quite how things are meant to work. I think blood should be subject to gravity. Yes. Right. Uh, so the... Uh, New guild hall has been dug out. Let's just give it a good door. Uh, so this li exceptional limestone door decorated with exceptional, exceptionally worked elk bone Erd bone looks like a nice one to put somewhere that we want to be valuable. And well, given how well engraving the last guild hall went, let's just do the same here. Fairly high priority smoothing. Uh, food and drink are all in reasonable supply. Note the other under food stores because we're mostly now full of um, prepared meals. Um, yes, um, they are excellent trade goods as well. Possibly we might want to move that, move the uh, statues around a bit in the um, in that guild hall so they're not blocking all the doors. Well, doorways.
do hope we don't have to end up with all of those kinds of guild because uh, <laughs> there are an awful lot of them. <laughs> I kind of feel that we should do something in each guild hall to represent what it's about. I'm just not quite sure what that would be. There's some... Apparently you're having quite a lot of Mark's Wolf castles pick up equipment, equipment Yes, yes, I'll worry about that one day. Uh, that probably means that that they're confused about what they sh what crossbows they should be using. Um, I did find a way to mark to choose what got carved didn't I <laughs> can't for the life of me remember where that control was though yes <laughs> That's not my crossbow. Let them engrave it as they wish, and we can worry about it later. <laughs> Apparently, engraving it as they wish involves doing so in a diagonal line across the floor. For some reason. Excellent. Someone is happily shooting the undead and thus improving their archery skills. Their crossbowing skills. So, uh, yes. Okay, we are actually out of bones there. We do have a tolerable number of bone crossbow bolts. But like we don't have an awful lot of uncooked meat either. Mm. Well, I'll let you carry on, but I generally want to stop people going out hunting for the most part. Well, there isn't at the moment, so it's kind of not dangerous. So I'll probably go around and cancel people's hunting jobs when they when it next becomes dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, right there we go. That's that guild hall guild hallified by virtue of carving everything. <laughs> the 
because apparently appointing someone as chief medical dwarf is worthy of a uh, an exceptionally designed image on the floor. And uh, yes, here is a, a an image or talking about the masterful limestone door created by one of my other dwarves. Um, A, a dark brute apparently that well that was nothing to do with me apparently being chief medical dwarf gets you several carvings i'm not sure a codex can really wither away hooray we have a, a drawing of the future of dragons Does it be, uh, it's an amulet. Um, yes. Okay. It does look like there have been there have been some elf versus dwarf wars in this area, fairly recently. Yes, that is going to be smoothed eventually. We don't seem to have a shortage of tables at the moment. I might want to reorganise that room a bit. Oh uh, yes, shall we slaughter a pig in order to get some more bones? I suppose we could slaughter some of our weird animals that aren't pigs. animal isn't interested in your wishes uh, like you know we have a, a spare donkey and a llama and a yak oh okay well I mean I'll have to kill it to do that <laughs> Yes, I've got this pile of spare cages now. I think one thing I could usefully do is to set up some cage traps around the connection between our fortress no, uh, and the um, caverns. Yes. Uh, so that. Sorry, caverns should be old. Some <laughs> yes, the caverns are also old. I think they come into existence when the um, world is created, or at least fairly shortly afterwards. Uh, if we construct a few cage traps down here, then that will discourage animals and such like from getting into the fortress from the caves, from the caverns. Oh dear. Like that, for instance. Ushnir Eshnava Eshtanavu's hunter cancels return kill, interrupted by Elkbird Corpse. That would be the Elkbird, Elkbird Corpse he was trying to return to the, the um, fortress with. I think it may possibly have, um, have come back to life in his arms and not in the good way. I mean, he's sensibly, he, she, she's sensibly running away and shooting at it at the same time, okay. missing. Of course, tearing the liver of a dead elk bird doesn't actually cause it to fall over. Um, well, maybe we should actually try to send some 
some of whatever our military currently is down there. I mean, it's one elk bird corpse. If they can kill anything that's even slightly scary, they can kill an elk bird corpse. Um, Yeah, have a go at this. Yeah, something like that. It's catching her. One, one tile away now. There's one thing I can't do here is my common trick or at least not not without a lot more jumping through ludicrous obs hoops is my common trick of actually running tail dash effing the um that doesn't look good uh the game log file in a different window which makes watching the combat logs a lot less painful um though there is i suppose a small gap at the bottom of the screen oh no but yes i found that obs does have a it essentially a tail dash f mode that you can stick things in the window but i think it doesn't like the fact that dwarf fortress encodes its log file in code page 437 um, so yes the elk bird corpse has now charged our hunter and knocked her over uh, meanwhile someone is off hunting another elk bird because that can't possibly make the situation worse I mean, like, to an extent, I'm willing to let the hunters suffer their inevitable fate. Well, it wasn't zombie infested before, but the hunters went and zombie infested it. Well, this is the thing, of course, shooting things with crossbow doesn't generally hurt them in a way that causes them to... Um, causes them to not be zombifiable. Not be zombified, rather. Let's just check that that hatch is passable, yes. So, like, yes, those guys. Let's just watch one of the people going down to do the killing, which appears to mostly involve running around the food storage areas trying to find the stairs. Yeah, I may need to widen some corridors. <laughs> right, so the military are turning up. Uh, and apparently, has that, that Elper corpse managed to be killed? No. Oh no. The militia commander got there, hacked the hacked the Elkberg corpse in the head with his steel battle axe, and all is now well. Um, well, I mean, I say that. Not, Not for the dead Elkberg. I mean, I kind of like the fact that it got shot in the um, in the gizzard with an Elkberg bone bolt. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do have a slightly a somewhat injured um, hunter. Successfully killed one elk bird. He's shaken and horrified after that experience, though. Um, <coughs> and her upper left. Trying to get your hunters not to have people at stake. Uh, yes. Well, we'll put her in a nice. Well, she she'll be more cheerful once she's been hauled home. And um, but yes, she will have ongoing trauma from the horrified from being attacked by a dead elk bird um, currently she is horrified she will probably continue being somewhat unhappy remembering the experience later so yes uh, left upper leg cut open lower body cut open left hand cut open right hand cut open head cut open neck torn open Left lower arm is cut open. Her left foot is cut open. She is fundamentally a mess of minor wounds. Her right lower arm is cut open. Her right upper arm is cut open. Is there in fact any part of her that isn't cut open? Her spleen is bruised. 
Yes. I mean, the alarming thing is that 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 dwarf fortress probably simulates some consequences of a bruised spleen. Uh, uh, no, her her right lower leg is fine. Her, both of her lower legs are in fact fine. Um, so someone. All right, I think she's. She is sufficiently well that she can make her own way to the hospital, it looks Tea like. Uh, yes, please. Tea well, think. Yeah. yeah. Tea care. So she's well enough that she can get up the stairs herself. But she will probably be heading for the hospital to get those wounds seen to. Someone else is returning their kill. <laughs> right, well, we may we may go through all that again. Yeah. Right, all the cage traps are set up down there now. What was that L moving around? Oh, that was, might have been our leopard, mightn't it? Hello, Eek. Um... Now, our injured person is uh, has been evaluated and will now need to be cleaned. Uh, but she should be able to be cleaned with soap. Ah, she says with soaps. No. We should probably like construct a well in the hospital so that it isn't necessary to go fighting through all the people in the um yes in the temple to get to get water um, we could basically construct the same system with the same kind of underground water supply that we've got in the temple in the hospital. I should probably do that. Anyway, uh, yes, there's that elk bird corpse heading upstairs, so it's probably not going to be a terrible embarrassment. Um, we have actually got plenty of bone here, just for some reason it's not being processed. I should work out why that is and, and fix it. So that will dispose of those. Uh, probably it's that the the supply has clogged up with skulls, yes. So we should make five totems and then that will solve the problem. some hair which will eventually get which will if I ask for it to be spun into thread get spun into thread possibly I should divide these um, I improved my crossbow. That was not satisfying. I should also like arrange that that mangled ilk bird corpse gets properly disposed of. I think. Oh, it'll probably get hauled up to the. Up 
to the uh, butcher's what's name anyway yes there well there's there it is yes now we just hope that someone processes it before it comes back to life yeah there's a job scheduled there it goes oh it's come back to life again i think that that is it's got a head that one okay maybe that's a different one well hey guys come and have a go at this elbow corpse please before it kills anyone okay it's mostly going to kill the pigs isn't it the woodcutter hacks the Elkberg, cor Elkberg corpse in the lower, left lower leg with her copper, ba copper battle axe. The Elkberg corpse falls over, yes, well that's a good start I suppose. Your copper battle axe is blunt, madam. I feel you should be able to do better than bruising the upper spine's bone with it. Don't bite the undead elk bird corpse. That's not very sanitary. Also, severing its motor nerves probably won't help. I think the elk bird corpse may be pretty useless now. It's, it's resorting to pushing things. Well, we're trying to discard it, but we probably have to cut, cut its head off first. Yeah, of course, even though it probably isn't very dangerous, I think it's been killed now, re-killed um, it has scared all of our animals off yes its head has been cloven asunder which is probably good enough now it can be hauled back again and we can try butchering it again <laughs> plus someone needs to get all these pigs back pigs are all over the place Some of the pigs have managed to end up in the, um, oh gods, there's another one. I mean, yeah, this is getting, it's not actually seriously dangerous at the moment. Okay, there doesn't appear to be one, another one. Maybe the message is, maybe I'm just way behind on the messages. Right now, someone please butcher these before anything bad happens. I think we probably want to permit body parts in there as well, so that the um, so that that spare head gets some. Um, correctly butchered you can see a dwarf there picking up a cage the double exclamation mark and holding it down the um well i suppose that's a way to slow down the hunters so there's now one totem there Still a bunch of make totem tasks pending. Maybe we need to dedicate, dedicate some more people to bone carving. Okay, yeah, we probably don't want need actually need to keep these teeth around. Maybe that was an excessive. Um, is that another tooth? Yes. Maybe, in fact, I should adjust that so that we don't try to keep dwarven body parts there because they're not very helpful. Stray cat has been bitten by a cave spider. 
Well, that, that's unfortunate. We might be able to do something with a cave crocodile tooth, but that probably wants to go... into a different stockpile. I'm just not going to bother worrying about elk bird head skin. <laughs> Sorry, just being amused. Cancels return kill, job item lost or destroyed, or reanimated as it actually was. Or at least as it appeared to be. I mean, is it just that people are getting so efficient at killing Elkberg corpses that I can't actually... Um... Yeah, okay, that, I, that by the time I pause the game after seeing the message saying it's come back to life, someone's already re-slaughtered it. I mean, that's pretty good, really, on the part of my um, dwarves. I still hope, hold out hope that that elk bird head can be turned into something useful. There doesn't seem to be anything in there that looks discardable yet. I'm sure the um, inhabitants of the pit are enjoying having all these dwarf teeth dropped on their heads. So somewhere down here there's now some poor dead dwarf's right ear. There it is. <laughs> Anyway, since they do become kind of hardened to seeing dead things, the ones who are. Uh, Well, no, this is more the, the military dwarves who are shooting at zombie troglodytes and such like. I mean, there's, there's some actual... Oh, right, that's some mangled feather. An enormous pile of stuff we have hurled down the pit. Um, but like, it may actually be that they are slowly defeating the creatures in the pit. We appear to be successfully manufacturing crossbow bolts again. Feathers and nervous tissue are of no value. things. Hmm. 
Well, okay. <laughs> yes, I suppose that would do the job. I mean, it's not actually killed it yet, but I think. No, it has. You've managed to success. You, you, you just got surprised by the elk bird head and bashed it with your crossbow, and that was quite adequate to stop it being a danger anymore. Uh, let's erect some more cage traps. Around that entrance in case anything gets in. I think antlers count as horns. We're just filling this place up with teeth now. I'm slightly confused by why the cave crocodile teeth are ending up here. I think that might mean that they can't actually be used for anything. Let, let's, tr let's discard the cra cave crocodile teeth as well. Sure, we can sensibly uh, butcher a single leg, but we'll see. I still don't need cave crocodile teeth. some more mechanisms to make more cage traps out of. Uh, it's the mechanics workshop, there it is. And yes, let's let's have a go at giving our hospital a better water supply. I'm sure we can do this without drowning anyone. Assuming that this works like aquifers in earlier dwarf fortresses. Probably want to do it like that. quickly look it up. No. I 
Right, so an open tile receives water from a light aquifer only if it is directly north, south, east or west of the tile of the aquifer. The amount of water that the open tile receives is uh, say the same regardless of the number of adjacent aquifer tiles. Uh, so, the pattern that I want, therefore, is to maximise the number of tiles that are adjacent to an aquifer tile. Which that layout is obviously excessive for. So at the moment that means that all of the outer row of tiles are adjacent to one. If I dig out that square... If I leave that square solid, then those four will be adjacent. If, on the other hand, I leave those three squares solid, then that will mean that everything is adjacent and we only lose three squares of the aquifer of the space. That's probably as good as it gets. I'm now going back to read IRC while, I, while my um, core fortress is saving. But anyway, yes, uh, I see that people are discovering historical succession, succession fortresses of a disaster. There have been uh, more recent ones, yes, in the uh... Yes, I know you've located damp stone. You're digging a, digging a well. Don't be so soft about it. Actually, on second thoughts, do be slightly soft about it. Let's make sure you can still climb out of the well after you've uh, done your bit of digging. No, you should still dig.
I'm sure what you've cancelled there. I'm going to leave you to dig for a bit until we, I can see what's going on. But how do we make rope again? Oh, Wiki, tell me how rope is made. How is rope formed? Uh, ropes? It is at the clothiers' shop. With one cloth? What? Um... Okay, well, we've got cloth. Uh, I'm just going to have to do, <laughs> build a clothier's workshop for the purposes of making rope. Uh, what level should this be at? We're spinning thread at that on that level. We've got a loom on this level. Let's make it ne build it next to the loom. check for anything weird around uh, looks good I think we're gradually reducing the number of undead in our fortress square where I want to put the door is one that hasn't yet been dug out right. Oh, that was the wrong build door, not dig door. Not dig a door. And we're out of food storage items. left a pile of very nice armour next to the rubbish dump. It's not a sensible place to leave your armour. I mean, you shouldn't be leaving your armour anywhere, really. I mean, it's not like this well can be useful any time very soon. Scale is of any use, I don't think teeth are of any use. Yes, we should build that clothier's workshop, shouldn't we? I mean, we're going to need the ability to build clothes in due course. Eventually, the rate at which people die will actually be uh, low enough that we won't just be able to scavenge clothes from the corpses of them dead. It 
suspect once that rot that elk bird leg rots away properly, we'll be able to butcher the remaining bones. So Yeah, there might be a hint of miasma. There goes the miasma. Which will slightly upset some dwarves. But I've got all these doors, so are you interrupted by an elk bird? Not just an elk bird skeleton, but an actual elk bird. Yes, I think you just found yourself in the wrong place. So we do have a bit of a cloud of miasma there. Probably means that the dwarves around there are a little bit unhappy. Yes. But, you know, maybe we should dispose of that rotting elk bird leg. I think the benefit from. Extracting the bones from it is less than the um, harm that it causes by being there emitting miasma. hand it's helpful pulling up things that we can um, potentially butcher on the other hand it's kind of inconvenient all of these teeth yes this of course will mean that there'll be an amount of miasma leaking into the um, archery range but that's fine not many people down there. Oh yes, let's make ourselves some more pots. And what's the bedroom situation? Yeah, we have no spare bedrooms again. Right. Well, I think that this bedroom layer is getting unwieldy. And I should dig out another layer of bedrooms. So I think this layer is actually safe and water only comes into it um, where, where we've dug a hole into it from the next layer up, which is where the actual water is. So I think we could actually dig out a layer of bedrooms here with a bit of care. So, not here, here. Um, so that would involve first do I want to actually I mean yes we can but I don't think there's much wind to doing it on that layer rather than this layer which is also limestone and which has slightly less weirdness going on essentially that central room. No that's not, that's the wrong staircase grommet. That's the staircase to the um, caverns. You don't want to do anything special there. This is the staircase that connects up to the rest of the fortress and is not even connected yet. Uh, 
So. Let's go two, th two, three bedrooms, two bedrooms that way, two bedrooms that way, and then do some diagonals as well. can't go a bedroom that way because that would land us in the middle of that. Staircase, but we can dig out these ones. And by not trying to make the thing a square, we can at least arrange that we don't have corners that are a long walk from the staircase kind of diamond shaped instead. Oh yeah, I kind of feel that for connectivity we should then build the corridors around here even though the rooms don't exist. Yeah, that's probably correct, isn't it? then suggest that we should actually dig that out as well and then that yes and so this room here doesn't exist because it's a um, it's a staircase for an entirely other purpose right that was kind of weird oh my war drag jaguar's got into a fight oh right it's got into a fight with a rotten sow skin well let's just see if that's still mucking around know that those things do seem to get killed pretty quickly now usually faster than i can actually do anything about them which is kind of good feathers not helpful teeth not helpful Rights not butcherable because they are more or less sentient. I should probably forbid people to bugger around with teeth. Monitor lizard foot, on the other hand, gets properly butchered. <laughs> We're going to need some beds for the new bedrooms, aren't we? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops, a troglodyte left upper arm has come to life. Uh, eleven beds, yes. J M Q. Bed. Yes, eleven. Jade. That troglodyte limb looks like it. I mean, it's, it's probably not very dangerous. But no one's likely to actually come and kill it unless I ask them to. Okay, 
guys go and deal with that spare arm in the caverns. And there's a monitor lizard corpse on the surface. Okay, whatever happened to that troglodyte arm, it is no longer a problem. Doesn't seem to have... Oh, it's troglodyte left upper arm. A butcher got to it and hacked at it with her copper battle axe, and uh, yes. Apparently that was enough to... Uh, probably tearing the tendons was enough to cause it to be unable to move. Bedrooms, there's gradually being cut out. Was a slight mistake, wasn't it? Uh, we're probably not that well off for doors, are we? Oh well, let's try building doors and see how many we need. How many more we need? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ish. Say fifteen doors. So, uh, masterpiece of Elkbird Spleen Roast. I mean, frankly, if you make a decent roast out of an Elkbird Spleen, that probably constitutes a masterpiece. I'm not well, sure. I was going to say, I'm not sure how you roast a spleen. I mean, maybe you can make pate out of it, but, but, but roasting it. Wondering if I should optimi optimistically send that squad of reasonably effective military dwarfs yeah. after the dead monitor oh, lizard. Oh, yeah. yeah, go on. Let's try. It. Let's have a go. I mean, I should really assign some more dwarfs to this job, but. fairly effective.
blah 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 mace dwarf bashes the lizard corpse in the head with the bronze mace and yes the the monitor lizard corpse didn't really stand a chance there Usually people are still filling my fortress with teeth. I assume that toe can be butchered, but I'm not sure you get much out of a toe. We've got two toes in stock now. <laughs> Jaguar and Leopard are chasing one another around the fortress repeatedly. Another troglodyte arm that wants killing. Troglodyte arm duly killed. Without actually the use of a weapon, just scratched it and it fell apart. And yes, caverns are full of miasma, that's not really surprising. So about those bedrooms then, those are that's all looking quite nice now. Ooh. Don't like the look of that. Oh right, no, that surely is that's not data. The rotten troll corpse is not somewhere it's going to cause any trouble because it's down there. It was just that someone was slightly alarmed by finding it down there. I think they're repeatedly trying to pick up that lump of stone. Um, I should forbid that lump of stone from being moved. It's not going to be easy to move. That lump of stone is probably stuck there until such time as we actually manage to kill everything in the pit, which is going to be fairly hard work. doesn't appear to be scheduling butchering of those remaining toes so we should dispose of them as well before they start rotting this square is now getting a bit silly So, uh, some time ago, let's just schedule a load of those and see how many of them work. Oh goodness, are we actually out of wood? Well, the surface is fairly safe at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. There's a troglodyte skeleton, but that, oh, that's down there, that's fine. Let's just 
just fell some more dead trees. The repeated death and revival of this troglodyte arm is getting kind of odd. Maybe I shouldn't actually have scheduled them to bring every bloody tooth in the world into the fortress. It's just kind of pointless. I spend all my time saying no, I don't want that tooth either. So yes, I think there's a distinction between teeth that you can use for crafting, which are listed under teeth, and teeth that you can't use for crafting, which are listed under um, body parts. But the problem is body parts also includes partial corpses that we can butcher. Right, okay, we need more lye then. Oh yes, we wanted to make some rope as well, didn't we? We don't have anyone who's organised for soap for clothes making apparently. Well, trapper is a completely useless job. of our trappers into clothes makers, except that's the one I already did because I'm unstoked. Right. Generally seems like a good idea to have a couple of them so that if one of them is asleep the other one can do work. Right, enormous number of people hauling wood in because we just cut down the tree. All the newly arrived undead are somewhere safe. We should convert it into lye. Can I go new order? Make ash perpetually when. Add item condition. Move this item condition, yes. Actually, uh, I don't want add item condition, do I? I want uh, add condition from reagents. Why not? Well, what this says blue, blue drink from plant, that's not the one I want to change. Maybe that one, yes, I now need to put that back. Add product. Amount of, don't worry about the amount of seeds. And amount of drinks available. 
that seems weird because surely our amount of drinks available is much more than ten. Well, let's leave that for now. Anyway, May cash. I want to set the conditions on that. Add condition from. No, I don't want May cash. I want make, want to make lie. Uh, remove new lie. Make lie forever if if there is available any there is at least any time when there is at least one bucket and one ash available. And then Soap. If there is at least one lie and some tallow available, so that will generally mean that we can cause soap to happen simply by um, by making some ash and some and there being some tallow kicking around and the job scheduling system should automatically cause there to be um, make a moderate quantity of rope Okay, we don't actually have any spare cloth. Make yarn ropes. Actually, we can probably, if we can't do either of those, maybe, maybe we can make silk rope. Let's just schedule attempting to make each kind of rope. We know we can't make cloth rope. Uh, cancel those. Like, I honestly have no idea what we've got around. We we've certainly should have a lot of silk available in some form. We're apparently making silk rope, and we need some spare buckets. Is so let's schedule the construction of a bucket or two. No, that's table. And I have some tea, and I to drink the tea. <coughs> I should not inhale the tea. That's what I get for trying to drink tea quietly. I inhale it and then end up coughing all over the place. Yeah.
I think all the beds have been built for down here, so let's install all of them. Perhaps we could have got them decorated. Oh well. Getting bedrooms for all the dwarves is kind of important. Someone's gone and removed that white jade wall there. I should sort that out. I was thinking we should try to improve the, since I now seem to understand how to set up jobs here, I should do like add a cut white jade job with a condition that says no. Why do I always end up on that one? I should put a dull thing at the top. Uh, uh, add condition based on materials. Amount of rough white jade is at least one. And such like. That really has ones for those two. So we'll wait and see what else turns up. person who just gave birth a moment ago. Oh no, no, two different people. 
two different dwarves, two more daughters. Okay, that didn't quite work then, because I was expecting that that kind of job would only get would only fire would only get scheduled if we didn't have the uh, ingredient. We had the ingredients, but maybe that doesn't quite work. Okay, so what's the soap situation looking like now then? What's that? Oh, that that's that monitor lizard corpse, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Let's leave it up there. The collecting gratuitous teeth situation is still a bit silly. Why is everyone having children? It's just confusing. Right, so we do now have, I think, a constructed well in the uh, in the hospital that's nice I think we should locate this upper arm and since it keeps coming back to life okay it's already actually got a task on it so uh, I don't know quite what the task will be, but... Well, that suggests that we should have Lie and Tallow kicking around, satisfied for next check. So why are you not able to make soap? We do seem to have a surplus of soap though, which is nice. So that suggests that the hospital is adequately supplied with soap. Uh, uh, the hospital agrees. So I think now... I should set up a soap stockpile in the temple. I'm kind of inclined to make the temple a bit bigger because it's like currently rather crowded. following the usual conventions there should be a, uh, actually no let's save that for a bit and try to make a nice gem encrusted well it probably won't turn out to be a door though will it if I try to encrust something with gems I'll end up with a gem encrusted barrel or something but the way to deal with that is simply to encrust more things with gems until they're solid We appear to have a phenomenal quantity of spare gems. So, what kinds of gems have we got in stock? We have. Let's add encrust furniture with gems jobs for all of these. Precious fire opals. Actually, it's mostly precious fire opals. Let's just do a new order. Well, we know we've got white jade. So, let us do an encrust furniture with white jade job perpetually but 
on the condition that we have at least one white jade and at least improvable furniture that isn't a bin um, <coughs> and at least one improvable furniture and then add also it was fire opal and crust furniture with precious fire opal forever as long as we have at least one precious fire opal and at least one item of furniture that isn't yet encrusted with precious fire opals. Accidentally reach the point where this is all skulls again. Yes. Because I've arranged that the craft stores workshop can only draw it, things from its neighbouring um, stockpiles to avoid people running all over the bloody place finding things to f fuel it. Um, it does have the slight problem that it occasionally ends up with the stuff in its stockpiles being inconvenient and not the right thing. So we will rapidly... Uh, uh, that's a Morion that's arrived, I think. So let's add a cut Morion's job. Uh, J-M-Q Morion. Conditions agents number one and also a new order it will be useful very shortly crossed furniture with morions conditions the agents as long as there's any possibility of doing it Actually, I'm kind of inclined to enlarge that rough gem stockpile because buckets really count as furniture. Um, because rough gems turn up all over the place and they are thus a helpful thing. To keep close to the workshop. Gem stockpile the entire room. But we only keep rough gems in there. The idea being that cut gems will probably be lying around in the jeweler's workshop anyway, which is a perfectly convenient place for them to be, and the furniture. Similarly, what's wrong with you? Don't like that downward arrow. Under a great deal of stress. Yeah, maybe you actually ought to be allowed out allowed not to be um Maybe I should adjust the uh, military situation a bit so that they're not training not in training mode all the time. have a bit of fun. Uh, it's 
Yeah, you're one of those. Oh, uh, right, yes. allow you to relax a little more. Lots of people running around with gems now. Spinels, right? Well, those are jobs for them then. We should actually designate these as bedrooms, shouldn't we? They'd work better then. So coffins are not actually much use when they're just lying around. Let's dig out a room reasonably near the surface because that's probably where we want it. So the priorities just move them up and down that list, which is actually probably we should prioritize. I don't know if it'll help very much, but we should prioritize using gems over cutting new ones. entire area is now that meeting area. I was going to that temple. Uh, have we got any excitingly decorated doors available yet? Not yet. Let's allow that to happen. 
Uh, I had a reason for digging out that new section. I wonder what it was. Oh yes, it was to install a sto uh, soap stockpile somewhere. So actually, I think the sto soap stock soap stockpile is going to be in the northern half. That. That's an animal stockpile, that's not very helpful. Uh, settings, not animals, that would be silly. Bars, specifically bars, brackets, soap. Right, so that will then give us a supply of soap in. Come someone with some soap next to the uh, well, which will help people to um, enjoy it. Now dug out. Oh, that was yes. Oh well, too late now. Um, a room up there, which I shall put a small number of coffins in. They're actually, not there because if I'm building this following my standard layout, which I am, of course, then the left-hand edge is part of. corridor goodness we're out of block I oh, know we're not out of blocks sorry I was just a state aim here is to build somewhere where if we did for some reason want to uh, bury someone that should actually be perfectly safe uh, I should actually make that a bit longer uh, we could yeah you know what happens when you hunt elk birds um, <coughs> Uh, we might have somewhere where we could do it, though I admit we probably are going to want to do something a little more drastic if we actually get any dead caught dead dwarves than merely bury them. Let's get rid of that troglodyte up, upper arm before it comes back to life again. I think I also need some more stone blocks. something there that I might want to, might have wanted to pay attention to. I'm just thinking about the layout of this now. Problem is of course that 
Well, that's not actually a serious problem. So that square is adjacent to all of the coffins. So that would suggest that that's the coffin we would want to fill first, if we ever want to fill a coffin. Um, because we can't actually... Have I just put everything in the wrong place here? Because we can't... What I want is to be able, after every, any coffin gets filled, to wall it in, in such a way that it doesn't prevent me filling any of the other coffins. Uh... Noting that think that you can move diagonally in this game. I suspect the answer is it turns out it's impossible to do that anyway. And what I should do, therefore, is to say... For now... Only use that one for burial. Do allow it to be used for pets. And do allow it to be used for citizens and see what happens. Actually, yes, oh yes, that was the thing I needed to worry about. Now, the problem with that is now someone's going to stick someone's teeth in it, isn't it? Aren't they? Well, it's too late now. I mean, technically, I can't ask for it to be the entire thing to be removed, but. Right, we have a bunch of giant tortoise corpses on the surface. That's probably bad. Because giant tortoises have shells and are thus a bugger to kill. Yeah, do we need pots? And obviously we don't have many. I think actually given the fact that our food stockpiles are not even slightly full, yes we do. Thank you, Dizziot. just make a phenomenal number or do I try to if I do that what conditions can I put on it I have thing is does that I suppose if it says that at most 10 indicate yeah, let, let's let's use that condition and see what happens and see if we just end up making rock pots ad infinitum So we've got someone having a strange mood, plus I should probably do something about any dwarves who are on the surface. Like work out why they're there and tell them to stop. have no job and thus have no good excuse for being there. Are you coming back inside? You might be. You're randomly hauling. No, you're not. Where are you going? Yes, everyone out here is doing stupid store item in stockpile jobs. Uh, refuse. Temporarily stop gathering refuse from outside. Now what I quite like is for you to actually all come indoors so that I can close some doors. Now, I don't think giant tortoise corpses are actually dangerous, they're just kind of probably unkillable. Okay, so what are you trying to store in the stockpile then, eh? That, that's refuse. You should not be collecting refuse from outdoors. Meng Soberak has claimed a, work, a mason's workshop. Well, I hope you mostly want stone.
Stacked cloth, rough gems, a quarry. Shining bars of metal. We don't do metal. We, like, I think we have zero metal stocks at the moment. I'd quite like it if you didn't go mad. So have you got anything in there yet? So you have found a quarry, so you're now looking for found some metal. So you now I found some stone, so are you now looking for metal? Well, I mean, we haven't managed to find any metal ore yet. Cobaltite doesn't count. Um, but we haven't gone that deep. Maybe we should go deeper. I'm sure that will be fine. I mean, like in the worst set case, he goes mad. There might be some traders along at some point with some, some metal to sell. So what am I doing about this surface thing then? Everyone is running around like a loon on the surface, being repeatedly interrupted by dead giant tortoises. Which, as far as I can see, are not actually a serious danger. They're just scaring everyone. If they could please scare everyone back indoors... Don't collect refuse from outdoors. Oh, gods, now you're in trouble. I mean, admittedly, you have got a steel battle axe. You really should be able to win this one. <laughs> Sorry, just observing the... the yeah, there we go. I think I think our militia commander may be about to make mincemeat of these giant tortoise corpses. Wow, that's quite scary. Right, well, those giant tortoise corpses weren't a serious problem, were they? <laughs> so... Didn't I buy some metal? Let's just check my stocks. No, the only things we have bars of are soap. I mean, strictly we could probably melt some craft down into metal, but like that seems like cheating. Right, well, uh, yes, okay. That, that really dealt with the giant tortoise corpses very quickly. No, not that one. I mean, he was a bit scared initially. Or she. But then... discovered that, that taking tails off them was fairly easy. And then just essentially started 
well, not so much beheading as comprehensively chopping any exposed bits off the giant tortoises and being zombified. The giant tortoises were not sensible enough as to hide in their shells. practice a craft do you uh, do you have any you don't have any crafts enabled well that's a bit unfortunate isn't it we usually have need of bone carvers become a bone carver right uh, well let's let's reinstate gather refuse from outside then I mean, we're going to continue accumulating teeth by the ton, but we might also get those giant tortoise corpses in. Interrupted by giant tortoise head. Interrupting giant tortoise head. I mean, we're striking some interesting things as we go down. Butcherable. Also, glazes of no use, isn't it? reading about all the clays. So as we continue to delve we have not yet found the giant tortoise head got I may need to start actually setting uh, some shortcuts to get to locations where we're de delving this deep. I'm slightly alarmed by that comment. By the needs cage. Kind of suggests we may have accidentally caught something in a cage trap. Like when I say accidentally, of course, this is kind of what cage traps are for. Uh, yes, we've caught, we've captured an elk bird. 
rather I've captured a Greek. Um, so yes, our cage trap now has an elk bird in it. Uh, Uh, what can I do with an elk bird? Now that it's in the trap, can I do something with it? Yes. I mean, I can now slaughter that elk bird in the usual way. Theoretically, I could attempt to tame it. But like that seems an awful lot of faff. Plus, I've done that once in previous game. Let us just slaughter the elk bird. Let's see if we can tame a naked mole dog, though. Yes, what the hell is a naked mole dog? I think it's kind of like a naked mole rat, only bigger. I think the, these tortoise components are being slowly processed. No, I don't think praise is helpful either. Unremarkable gem. Uh, I think the gizzard stones are naturally gem-like, so I'm slightly surprised that they haven't ended up in the um, in the gem stockpile yet. It may be that I just need to schedule a an encrust furniture with job for some of them. Most of them are actually not gems, now I come to look at it. Which may make it a bit difficult to do anything with them. Alright, there, no, there we are. We have encrust with... So, like, I ought thus to be able to... Uh, Asked to encrust an object. Let's just do it this way. Do schedule an encrust with cinnabar. Job. Say encrust furniture with cinnabar. Because I'm sure having a cinnabar encrusted bed will not give you mercury poisoning. Check that works. So those jobs that were meant to be conditional on having ash and such like, they don't seem to be being very conditional. God, how many animals have we trapped now? seem to be any extra indeed looks like no nothing is happening about this either 
I, I think those may still be in their cages. Yes, indeed, we appear to have two naked mole dog cages now. I think we need to do the bizarre thing of constructing those cages somewhere. So that they can be opened. Don't ask me. There's cage, cage J. Let's put them in the animal training area. See if that helps. Those are all parts that we that we expect to be able to dismantle, butcher. something rotting somewhere around here. <laughs> the troglodyte arm again. But my ludicrous density of doors is helping things. People are being interrupted by a head somewhere. All oh, right, it's outside. That's fine. What's that for? Bringing in. don't like the look of that. If it's rotten, we can't do anything with it. Please throw it in the pit immediately. So now that that elk bird's cage has been constructed, I wonder if it might actually be able to get no, that oh, giant arm corpse is rotten, it should be thrown away. Also, what is the point of this? I mean, admittedly, I'm slightly at a loss as to what's the point of this room in general, but I think that was a very early stockpile for storing convenient objects in, and we don't actually need it anymore. so grumpy. Uh, I think you were the one I just assigned bone carving to.
think we may want to actually do something about this giant tortoise head. It's causing trouble. Oh, it's stuck in a tree. Ugh. Stuck quite high up in the tree at that. Well, actually, no. Let's just tell all of my soldiers to make an attempt at killing that giant tortoise head and we'll see if any of them can do anything about it. But the fact that it's halfway up a tree, what are these things? Excuse me, why are there lungfish floating in the air above my fortress? I'm fairly sure that shouldn't be happening. Okay, they don't appear to be floating there for very long. Uh, excuse me, I'm just going to look up lungfish and check that they're not meant to be able to fly. Small fish which can walk on land and breathe air. Um, and there is indeed a Reddit thread about the mystery of floating lungfish. Uh, so yes, apparently lungfish are at least <laughs> bizarre. Um, sorry, I've just noticed the organisation of my dwarves here. They appear to be standing in a line, <laughs> presumably at precisely the distance at which they stop being terrified of the giant zombie giant tortoise head in a tree. Which is kind of amusing, but also not very helpful. Oh, well, I, I, actually, maybe we should just fell the tree. <laughs> But we probably can't get close enough. Well, let's see if the military dwarves... ...actually organise themselves enough to come out here and deal with the problem. Uh, our dwarves are just, like, standing, staring at this giant tortoise head, going, what the hell's that, aren't they? Which is kind of amusing, <laughs> but not actually very helpful. And now they've suddenly decided to go somewhere else. Oh, because someone climbed up the tree. I think. There now appears to be a giant tortoise mangled head in the tree. And everyone stopped, has stopped standing around staring at it. And most of them have started lugging lumps of giant tortoise back to the... Um, ...fortress. thing I could do. Oh, 
Sorry, we appear to have started training the naked mole dogs. I think I could just hurl this um, elk bird into the pit and see what happens. That would be amusing. Uh, but I'm trying to slaughter the elk bird. Let, let's not... Right now we don't actually need to do anything else with the elk bird. Oh, it's midnight. I should stop. Yes, my chief medical officer is up a tree fighting a tortoise head. Um, it's not a head. Yes. Just a head. Yes. Mm. The rest. Of, well, we've we've ma we've managed to butcher quite a lot of the giant tortoises, but occasionally bits come back to life, okay. and this head came back to life before we could get it properly butchered. I mean, it turned out our militia commander was pretty damn good at killing giant, at re-killing giant tortoise heads, um, or giant tortoises rather. But one of them got its head stuck in a tree, presumably because hacked off vigorously with an axe, and it went sailing off into the distance and got stuck in the tree. And then it came back to life in the tree, which meant that everyone was terrified of it, though it couldn't actually do very much. And I. And I don't know quite how, but the chief medical dwarf ended up climbing up the tree and killing the thing again. And now we are happy, or at least somewhat happy. Okay. Is it now dead then, by the way? We think so, and I think it's permanently dead as well. Good. And that's rotting, so it should be disposed of. I feel I should at least slightly wait until I've tidied up the great tortoise disaster. Well, not really disaster, entertainment. We have another alive giant tortoise head. Where are you? Uh, I think he's managed to get killed already. You're going to have so much giant tortoise meat. I mean, I think these reasonably fresh, albeit risen corpses, are actually giving me meat. Like, if they're not, then... Well, we're still getting bones out of them, I suppose. And shells. Shells are great to have. Um. I mean, as fast as we can butcher these giant tortoise corpses, people bring new ones in. Giant tortoise nose. Uh, anyway, yes. Well, we do, yeah, we've, we've got 37 giant tortoise meat in stock, so clearly, while they did, like, die and come back to life, they were apparently reasonably fresh, even when we re-killed them. So that's nice. 
So yeah, I, th I think there's something going wrong with these jobs because like is there something I want to change here and if you change material I don't want to add a condition do I don't think so That says not satisfied, so surely thus it should stop being scheduled. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think we want to change the number. I'm not sure we I, I wonder if there's some silliness that actually I want to make it a do one of these with this condition because I think it may be that it's like sorry just curious about these objects yes that's nice uh I wonder if the problem is that what I've actually got is an infinite job that is set to run infinitely as long as we ever had the correct ingredients. And that's probably not what I meant. rough honey yellow barrels so let's try adding a slightly different form of that if we do this but say one but then set the conditions to be no not don't do it by item condition that will be incredibly tedious uh, delete condition uh, Add reagent condition, rough honey yellow barrels, at least one. So it does that end up doing the right thing. shouldn't be a water source anymore because it's no use. I'm kind of confused by the way everyone is still crowding in the northern half of that room. Because I don't think they need to. I think the whole thing should be part of the temple. Anyway, I was going to stick a door in here. I don't know, once we decorated some, but we appear to be busy decorating things that aren't doors. Mostly slabs, because they're nearby. It means some people are going to get some truly astonishing memorials when they manage to die. What's going on with those tortoises? Are we in a situation where I feel I can leave them alone? Prop 
probably. I mean, I want to work out. Oh, no, the the that's a tame naked mole dog. I think no, that's an untamed naked mole dog. How did that get in? I mean, it's probably reasonably peaceful. We'll probably at some point wander into one of our um, cage traps, but meanwhile it's scaring the pigs. At least all of the uh, giant tortoise corpses appear to now be inside. That's rotten, so it should be disposed of. A scale it is thus of no value at all. probably discard that coat as well. So the cut honey yellow, yellow barrel job got scheduled. At least got approved. We're suffering slightly from um, the nearest items of furniture to the uh, jeweler's workshop being these memorial slabs and they're repeatedly getting picked up and improved and taken away again. What's that yellow body part there? I need to wait, and s wait for this save and at least check what that is. I think it is probably time. To, um, to as Gareth says, I Gareth to snooze it. <laughs> What's that G? Is that that is that the that goose that we've had lying around? Sorry, and in this weird state just after a save where the game slows down for a, becomes weirdly unresponsive for a bit. There we are. Oh yes, that's a goose. It was apparently got into a fight recently. actually see the goose in there might but like one of our dogs all oh right that naked mole dog has generally um been causing trouble let's set my marks dwarves after it for a bit of fun i'm sure that will be fine okay it was kind of messy Because when I send you after a 
naked mole dog with a crossbow. I do not expect you to use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Anyway, what was that yellow thing then? Oh, right, that's some shell. Yes. I may want to store that somewhere else. Because shell is kind of weirdly precious in Dwarf Fortress. Because sometimes... Oh, yes, we should pay attention to that, but that strange mood. Sometimes, though frankly, we yeah, can't see a sensible way to deal with it right now. Uh, sometimes dwarves in strange moods end up wanting shell and there are often no useful sources of it. Let's at least mine out those gems. And those gems. And those gems. And those gems. While we hope rather optimistically that we might find any metal ores, but we haven't penetrated any yet. I mean, possibly it's worth digging horizontally, but I don't think there's any of these layers that looks particularly help hopeful. Well, let's keep going all the way down to layer zero. Like we're at layer 10 at the moment, so. Oops, that didn't work. Oh, because I'm still on auto mine. And we also haven't found a second layer of caverns yet, which is slightly surprising. I thought this layer might be helpful, but it wasn't. And then we've got Gabbro, which I don't think is much good, and Granite. I don't think you get much interesting in Gabbro and Granite. Layers. Iron ore is found in sedimentary layers. <laughs> Metamorphic rocks. might be helpful. Igneous intrusive layers might be helpful. In that it technically has native gold in. So, what are our, what are the rocks we've what are the major stones we found? Diorite, phyllite, gabbro, cobaltite, granite, microcline, diorite. So of those, the phyllite layers, the gabbro, that's all igneous intrusive, isn't it? Basically the only thing you can find in igneous intrusive is granite, diorite and gabbro. 
are all igneous intrusive rocks. Slate. Slate's metamorphic, isn't it? Yes. Might be worth mining out that slate layer a bit. Seeing if it has anything good in it. Probably worth going all the way to the edges of the map. Almost to the edges of the map. It would obviously be horrifically embarrassing. To, well, it wouldn't be horrifically embarrassing to punch through the edge of the map, but like things might get in if I did that. The slate layer might have something worth having in it. I mean, strictly, we might find some native gold, but. Diorite. That's in a layer. What, what's going on with the orthoclase then? Orthoclase is the thing you find in metamorphic layers, so let's assume that's also a metamorphic layer and do a bit of mining out around there and see what we find. There we've got orthoclase in a gabbro layer. Gabbro is totally igneous intrusive, so. Okay, you also get clust large orthoclase clusters in igneous layers, so it's probably actually just a gabbro layer. Pretending to be of something interesting. We'll see. Since this is a uh, metamorphic layer, let's also a bit of exploratory mining and see if we find anything good here. I'm kind of assuming if there were any iron ore, A, I would have noticed it in the embark screen, and B, I would have found it with all my mining in the few limestone layers we've got. I should have recorded a macro for exploratory mine this layer, shouldn't I? But like, we'll turn up some gems if nothing else.
tanzanite is interesting either. Uh, it's a gem, but can't make metal from it. Galena, on the other hand, we know what we can make from Galena. Right, auto mine, high priority. I wonder if we should try to construct a smelter and such like down here. So that we don't have to um, lug the galena all the way up. But then we have to lug all the wood down. The wood's lighter than galena. Hmm. Let us save and stop here, and then we can set up a metal industry next time. More specifically, a lead industry. Good newt stream. Good newt. Um, in addition to our rather bizarre zombie giant tortoise industry. Just mark a few things for disposal. If there's anything here that needs to be marked for disposal, which there isn't. Oh yes, what happened to that? It looks like the uh, gizzard stone got used for something. I wonder if I can find the thing it got used for. I think that coffin is going to need to find a role in life before it ends up really terrifyingly expensive. I suppose we can sell it if we manage to achieve that. Well, I have no idea what happened to the uh, to the gizzard stone, but it does appear that it's got used got used for something. So, so that that clearly works. Um, right. Anyway, so I think that's enough for today. Let's just have a quick glance around. Is there anything weird going on? There's another batch of giant tortoise corpses. I wonder if we should just let send our military out after them. But we've got already got enough giant tortoises. We don't need more. Right, yes, so that's everything. Um, thank you for watching. I should get some sleep. Good night. <laughs>